30 starts now. Valley Children's wanted to set the record straight with all the misinformation that was coming out last week. Clearing the air, the Valley Children's Healthcare Board responding to claims by Fresno City Council members about the CEO's salary. Thank you for joining us live at 6:30. I'm Vanessa Vasconcelos. And I'm Dale Yarong. A week has passed since Fresno City Council members Miguel Arias and Gary Bredefeld called for a state investigation into Valley Children's Hospital, both questioning what they call excessive compensation by the hospital CEO. Today, Valley Children's responded in a letter to the full city council. Action News reporter Gabe Ferris brings us what the hospital is saying and how the council members are still pushing back. Valley Children's wanted to set the record straight. Pushing back, Valley Children's Hospital on the offensive, sending this letter to the Fresno City Council to share its side of the story Wednesday. One week after details of the hospital's CEO's multi-million dollar salary came to light, board chair Michael Hansen writing in part, quote, we are fortunate to have leaders of the caliber of our CEO Todd Suntrapak at a time when there is intense nationwide competition for them. We are proud of the decisions we have made and proud of what we do for our community. During an interview with Action News, hospital spokesperson Zara Arboleta saying Todd Suntrapak's compensation was inflated for the 2021 tax year because of a one-time accounting change. And it appeared that in one calendar year that uh, people might have received double bonus but that was just by virtue of the complicated nature of tax filings. Valley Children's response comes a week after two Fresno City Council members gathered at City Hall to call for state investigations. Gary Bredefeld and Miguel Arias allege Valley Children's uses hospital proceeds to fund executive salaries. They claim some of that money comes from public health care reimbursements like Medi-Cal. Absolutely not. Medi-Cal reimbursements are not funding the salaries and the compensation of our senior leaders. Last week, Arias and Bredefeld distributed this 2021 tax filing. It shows CEO Todd Suntrapak made more than $5.1 million in compensation that year. As Action News previously reported, a breakdown of Suntrapak's benefits shows a $1.7 million base salary with an additional $3.4 million in bonuses and more. The hospital says Suntrapak met, quote, significant performance goals to get those bonuses. As for the $5 million home loan Suntrapak received, the hospital says loans are commonly used to retain executives. Now, should our CEO leave within 10 years of that loan being issued, he would need to repay a portion of that loan. But this is something that is not unusual. To Valley Children's at all. Bredefeld and Arias both told Action News the hospital's response Wednesday did little to address their questions. They still want answers. I would challenge the board of directors to publicize the source of the compensation. We know that Valley Children's is a jewel, but what they've done is violated the public trust and it ne there needs to be accountability and transparency. Gabe Ferris, ABC 30, Action News. Councilmember Arias says he and Councilmember Bredefeld still plan to ask the state attorney general and the state assembly for an investigation. Arias says they will formally submit the requests on Thursday.